Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, June 23, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Proverbs chapter 20, reading verse 18 to 22. And it says, Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. He that goeth out as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamb shall be put out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten easily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Amen. We thank God for his words this morning of wisdom, telling us that it is always a good thing when we seek counsel, because when you get sound advice, then you are able to make a sound decision. What do you say? Every purpose is established by counsel. So whenever a decision is made from a collective body, it's on the condition or advice of those within that collective body. So think about a, a king going to war. When or before he goes to war, he meets with his strategists, he meets with his generals and is official to find out the direction in which make more sense to go to plan a good strategy that will help them win whatever war they are fighting but pre-adventure someone within that meeting should go and start to speak about what take place in that meeting what you think is going to happen they would have to throw out that whole plan because now the enemy would have gotten wind of the, their plans and would have a counter and would have a plan in place to counteract their plans. And so in life, we can use the same example. It says that we must learn not to gossip and we must learn to establish and to listen to wise counsel. We are also advised that we must be careful of those around us who can't keep their mouths. Those who they just blab their mouth everywhere they go because they have proven themselves unworthy of your trust. And so that is why it is important to, to, be, to know who you can trust from who you can't trust. Unless you want your secrets to be carried on the winds of gossip then you have to know what you are saying to others and you stuck. But on the other hand, pre-adventure, it happens that something you shared with somebody get out there. Don't go and attack the person. I know you feel like you, are, you would be in your right to do so because the person break that trust that you had with them. But, as the readings say, don't repay evil for evil, but instead allow the Lord to deal with it for you. Because when the Lord deal with it for you, he will be saving you from getting your hands dirty. He will be saving you from making a grave mistake. He will be saving you and protecting you from doing something foolish. And that is why the, the psalmist says that, that vengeance is the Lord and he will repay. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't matter how you f may, be, may believe that it belongs to you and you are justified in acting vengeance. You are only making things worse for yourself. And it says also that whosoever curse his mother and his father, his lamp will be obscure in utter darkness what did the commandment say honor thy father and what thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the lord giveth thee so give parents their due respect 
at all times and do not do anything that will become offensive to them because when it does you are ultimately offending god so make sure that whatever you do it is in ple- it is pleasing in the sight of god now if you are pleasing in the sight of god if what you do is pleasing in the sight of god and they then you don't have to re- then you don't have to worry about their responses or anyone's responses after that your own your only objective must be to please the lord and so the message this morning is that stay away from gossip and those who gossip stay away from vengeful practices and learn to keep your mouth shut and i know some of us struggle with that our tongue is just an untamed lion but we must learn to keep quiet huh you ever hear the saying no ask don't tell so if you weren't given a message to give anybody keep quiet because that is how we tear down people's reputation sometimes when we go and we blab our mouth talking people business sharing information that wasn't given to you to share in the first place and we should stay away from people who are like that anybody who love to come to you and gossip you don't need a friend like that you don't need those kind of people surround you because eventually their bad habits might rub off on you so make good choices when you are choosing friends and think about what it is that you want to stand for because not everything that you stand for might be the same thing that somebody else stand for and you might clash and the bible says can two walk unless they agree so there's a lot to consider here and i pray that god will help us that when we are and may god help us to make choices that will glorify him and to help us to be wise in our in our dealings with each other and to make sure that he is pleased with us when it's all said and done amen